This is one of those finds that every aviation enthusiast dreams of. An original 1909 Curtis Pusher, still in kit form. What you see behind us is a 1909 Curtis Pusher. The parts themselves are from a plane that's never been assembled before. So it is essentially a brand new 1909 Curtis Pusher. The parts that you see in the wings, wing ribs, wing struts, those are original parts that were found in the attic of a house in Beverly, Massachusetts, about three, three and a half years ago, wrapped in 1915 Boston Globe newspapers. And they were found by accident, really. The parts were involved in a, an estate sale, and there was an estate agent going through the attic looking at all the steamer trunks. They found these bits and pieces wrapped up in the papers sitting in a corner. Thought that they might be aircraft parts, but didn't really know. Keep in mind, this airplane wasn't found with instructions, a builder's manual, or even a label to clearly identify what it was. Not only that, aircraft at the time were constantly being revised. The problem with these aircraft is most of them, uh, there was no standard model. They were always changing. As far as I know, this is probably the earliest Curtis that's original. And once it's flying, it'll probably be the earliest Curtis airplane flying and could possibly be the earliest airplane that's flying. While most parts on this living legend are original, some parts took a little effort to track down or recreate. The engine itself, an original Curtis OX-5, was another found treasure. The engine was acquired out of a basement of a house in Philadelphia, and we overhauled that as well. New propeller. The parts that were missing, we went through a couple things. One, we found a set of five drawings from the Curtis factory for a 1911 Curtis Pusher, a D model, that were at the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum in Cleveland, Ohio. That helped us determine whether it was a 1909, 1910, 1911. Then we used the 1909 drawings to fill in the blanks. The rest of the work, or the information, was gathered basically through photographs. We spent hours and hours and hours going through the web, looking at anything and everything, until we finally essentially found an airplane that we felt represented what this plane would have looked like. But uh, we've tried to stay as close as we possibly can to what it would have been in 1909. Stay tuned. We hope to one day see this aircraft flying at AirVenture.